I'm not sure who this message is for, but look, God put this on my heart to, to share my testimony right now. It's Friday night. I was getting ready to go in the gym to get, get a quick workout in, but God put this on my heart. So I need to talk to you. Uh, whoever you are watching this video, I love you. I pray you stay until the end of this video. Listen, let me tell you something. You see, in every city, they have what they call a blood bank. And this is where people go and they donate blood. You know, many people, it's, it's nothing to donate a pint of blood if you got blood, right? But to the person that just got in a, in, in a car wreck who lost a lot of blood, you understand? It's vital to them. See, the, see, see the blood bank is there, right, to... To, to store up certain blood types to be able to distribute it out to those who need it. It's not trying to give it out to people who walking down the street looking at the blood bank say, oh, I think I may want a little blood today. I don't know. No, 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 no. It's not designed for you. It's designed for people who really need it and people who really want it. You see, when Jesus saved me, man, listen, I view myself as a blood bank and that's not in and of myself because see, I'm nobody. You understand? But by his spirit, you understand? By his spirit, I'm ready. I, I, I'm ready to be a blood bank because, see, I'm blood bought. See, I was going 101 miles an hour for the world. Why can't I go 200 miles for God? And I'm going to be honest with you. See, the world had me fooled. Yeah, the, the world had me fooled. As a matter of fact, let's clap it up for the world. Yeah. You had me fooled. The world had me fooled. I was living for the world, but I'm saved. And I learned that I'm in this world, but not of this world. I say, oh, snap. It all makes sense now. I always knew I was a little different. Oh, I always knew it was more than this right here. See, when you put on the goggles, everything looked different. In other words, if you go to the eye shop and they examine your eyes and they tell you, hey, Demarcus, look, I ain't gonna lie to you. You need some glasses, man. I'll be like, all right. And then, and then and they give me a pair. If I choose not to put the glasses on and walk around like this, that's on me. If I get a migraine headache, that's on me. That ain't got nothing to do with the dude who checked my eyes. I can't blame nobody but myself because he told me the truth. He gave me the glasses. You understand what I'm telling you? And what God wants to use you to do, you and me, we see, we in this together. You know what I'm saying? You ain't by yourself. God wants to use you to hand out, hand out them glasses. Look here, man. Here, here, take that glasses. Yeah, take them glasses. Here, here you go. Give it up. Some people gonna throw it down. Some people gonna laugh at you, but you know what? Oh man, yeah, I got my glasses. Some people are gonna throw it down. Some people are gonna laugh at you. Some people are gonna mock you. Some people are gonna say, "Here come that preacher, dude." Some people are gonna say, "Here come that, here, here come that girl who always talk about the Bible." Is the Bible even real? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, that's 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 what people are gonna do. But there are gonna be some people who are gonna take them glasses, who are gonna who, they're gonna take that testimony that you shared, and say, "Man, well, look." God did it for him. He could do it for me. You know what? I needed that. You know what? I'm going to open up my Bible tonight. You know, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I, I, I want to be saved. Somebody going to put the glasses on. Listen, it's a numbers game, man. I'm just being real with you. Just like if you in sales, if I want to, if I want to sell you this water bottle, you know what I'm saying? If my goal is to sell five water bottles and I try to talk to five people, I'm not going, I'm not going to close all five. That's not how it's going to work. He ain't thirsty. He ain't thirsty. He got, he walking with a gallon jug. Why would he want to buy this? See what I'm saying? Some people aren't in the market for it. But if I stay out here long enough in this parking lot, if I talk to 150 people, I guarantee you it's going to be five people who thirsty. You understand? Everybody ain't trying to hear what you're talking about. You understand? But somebody need it. Somebody need it. Check out the negative comments on some of these videos. Look, it's, it's a numbers game, man. You can't please everybody. The only way to please everybody is to sell ice cream because everybody love ice cream. But then when you do that, you're still not going to please everybody because some people going to say, you mean to tell me you ain't got no gummy bears to put on top? You mean to tell me you ain't got no sprinkles? That place down the street, they got, they got sprinkles. 
Oh man, you ain't got a cone to put it in? Y'all sell pickles? It, hey man, you can't please everybody. But like I said, some people gonna put on them glasses and they gonna say, hold on a second. I see things totally different. I see everybody as souls. I, I, I see I see that there's a chance to talk to that person about the goodness of God. My, my bad, I got a phone call coming through, so I'm a little sidetracked. But I'm gonna try to ignore it though. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's still recording, man. My screen is black, but I'm gonna keep going anyway. Praise the Lord. You know what I'm saying? I forgot where I was at. What was I saying? Hey, look, some, some people, they gonna put the glasses on. You understand? And they gonna say, wow, I, I see a chance to save people from going to hell. See, it ain't about how you look. Many people think, oh, how am I gonna look talking to them? What, what, what if they laugh at me? What if, what, what, if I, what if I don't memorize enough scriptures? What if I can't quote all these scriptures or whatever? Listen, I'm about to help you out. You ain't never gonna be ready enough, man. So what if you don't know your scriptures? So what if you, if you, you know, all stop trying to be so performance based and be spirit led. Let God use you. If you don't know the scriptures or you're not comfortable saying them or, or, or you're, you're 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 feeling a certain kind of way, just share your testimony. Say what's up, bro. Man, look, you you got about ten seconds. They're going to be like, yeah, that's how you get me tell them 10 seconds. But you're going to be there for long in that. Man, look, let me tell you about what God did in my life. Boom, 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 boom. You know, you just put that away. You ain't trying to you ain't trying to stall them out. You ain't trying to be out there three hours in the parking lot here, hearing you. Without. Give them a little quick something, man. And, 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 and if they interested, they're going to. Okay, well, yeah, okay. Boom, 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 boom. And before you know it, man, look, they, they, they want what you're sharing. Don't keep it to yourself. I'm about to go work out in this gym. But look, my antenna's up. I, I see souls, man. I see souls, man. And, and you know, man, look, I, I see souls everywhere. I, I used to be all in for the world. I'm all in for God now. You know what I'm saying? I, I got tunnel vision. I got the goggles on right here. And look, you know, hey. Some people might say I'm a little extreme or I, I, I'm a, I, I, I accept all that. Anybody opinion, I, hey, I accept it. I, I don't, you know, everybody has an opinion and I, I, I love everybody. But there will be a day when you stand face to face with the Lord and give an account. And, and, and me, what I want to hear is well done, my good and faithful servant. And guess what? In order to hear well done, you got to do something well. You understand? Well done. If I go to a restaurant. If, if, if I go to a restaurant and I order a steak, you know what I'm saying? And they bring that thing out of that thing got pink all in the middle. I'm going to be like, uh, hey, it, I appreciate the steak, but uh, I, I want it well done. And what they going to say? Oh, my apologies. Let me go put it back on the grill. They gonna come back, right? Bring it back. If it still got a little pink in it, I'ma say, uh, yeah, I, I wanted what my apologies. Let me go. This time they're gonna leave on that thing about 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Come back, steak be all dry. No, no juice in it. You know how it be. Well, man, you, you tell somebody well done at a restaurant, man. Your steak shrivel up to about the about the size of, of, of my knuckle right here, man. <laughs> little bitty tiny steak, man. But you get what I'm saying though? Well done. What, what are you doing? Are you doing it well? Now here, now, here, now here we go. Check this out. It's not performance based or in and of my intellect. It's doing it well and efficiently uh, uh, according to him. Being used by him. Being available. Like, a, like your water faucet when you go in the kitchen. It's available. You could turn it on. You could turn it off. You, you keep it on, you, you'll flood everywhere. God ain't asking you to, to just, just be wah, 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 wah. No. Calm down. Let me flow through you. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm trying to tell you God is so good, man. Hey, I'm about to go get this workout in, man. It's Friday night. God put this on my heart. So I wanna, I, I wanna, uh, I wanna just wanna share that with y'all before I get this workout in. I love y'all so much. Hey man, look, share the good news, man. Hey, some do, some don't, some will and some won't. Everybody ain't gonna listen, but that's not your problem though. See, man, listen. If you a farmer, your job is throwing them seeds, planting them seeds. Your job ain't staring at the seeds, stressing over, oh, that seed ain't sprout up. 
You just keep on planting them seeds, man. And, and, and some going to sprout up, some not. You just keep on going. If you, if, you, if you turn around and stop what you're doing, you cease to be a former. You stop being a former. See, you're a former for the Lord. Keep letting them use you. Everybody not going to like you, but it's all good. It's better to be hated for who you are. It's better to be hated for your purpose than it is to be loved for who you're not. Man, it's so hard trying to fit in. It's a full-time job trying to fit in. And then you don't have peace because that's not the real you. But if you be the real you, in your authority in Christ being used by him, you got peace now. Yeah, a lot of your friends, they're going to they, they gonna, they gonna leave. I'm just being real with you. They're going to say, man, I ain't, I ain't really trying to hear all that. And hey, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? If you want to find out who your real friends are, man, listen, take a stand for the Lord. And you might only have one or two left. That's cool because you could build again. God has sent you some, man, I'm trying to tell you, God has sent you some new friends. It's all good. But guess what? Them same friends who, who bust out on you, who left, you'll see them again. You know what I'm saying? They may come to the knowledge of the Lord later and then they say, oh, I, I see what that dude was talking about now. He was, a, he, he was a little annoying sometimes, you know, back in the day. I ain't really understand what he, but I, but I, I, I see his heart in the situation though. Then they come back around and you know what I'm saying? You're able to, to really witness to them. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, hey, man, I, I just, you know, this was on my heart. I just want to talk to y'all. I might have seemed a little all over the place, but, you know, I'm just passionate uh, about the Lord, man. And uh, I'm passionate about helping y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate you always taking the time to watch these videos. Like, I'm talking to you, man. I'm going to get a little closer. I'm talking to you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos uh, hitting the like button on every video and, and, and commenting down below, just interacting. I really appreciate you. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to comment. Um, I love you, Lord. Once again, comment. I love you, Lord. That lets me know you made it to the end of this video. I love you so much. Never forget that. I'm always be here for you. I, I plan to always have videos out every day, six o'clock AM central time. I'm not perfect. I may miss a day, but I hadn't missed any this year, but I just want to Make it clear that I, I look. I, I'm not perfect, but my goal is to be consistent in your life, to be able to help you out, to be a, a, a vessel for God, to be able to, uh, you know, get you His Word, give you that spark, and, and all that God has me to do. You know, all the other stuff in the world, I, I, I ain't really into that. I'm just, I'm about being laser focused uh, on one thing, and you know, I love you, and uh, I appreciate your time. All right. I'm about to go get this workout in, man. Boy, about to curl them two-pound dumbbells, man. You know what I'm saying? I got to get back up to them, uh, to them 20s, man. I love y'all.